Hey, what's going on guys? This is going to serve as a tutorial on how to utilize the curse slash twitch launcher for server instances. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do obviously is create a mod pack. Okay, whittle that mod pack down to only server side mods. <clears throat> then upload the pack. You're good if, if you want to actually upload it. Okay. But to actually uh, get the server running from the installed instance, I'm going to show you how. So obviously the first thing that you're going to want to do is download Forge. So I'm going to download the latest version. I'm going to get the Windows installer. Wait in for the ads. Okay, keep. Okay, so you got that. Actually, I'm going to move that back over here. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is get the server mods. Um, I'm going to be using a server file pack that I made for a mod pack that I'm working on as the example. So, gonna wait for all these to download and I will be back when they are. Okay, they are done downloading and everything is set up, I believe. So let's go over to mod packs. Okay, so cars are craft, server files, version 1 is installed. Let's click on that. Why is Curse lagging like this? Why is it doing this? Let me restart it real quick. I do apologize for this. I don't know why it is doing it. Okay, go back to Minecraft. <laughs> okay. And because I have this version, this one is got a 2 on it for some stupid reason. Oh well. Okay, so you got the pack. You could actually run this as a normal server instance but because it doesn't have any of the client mods that I want in it I'm not going to <laughs> so next thing that you're going to do go to profile options uncheck the locked box okay so then what you're going to want to do is go to open folder this will take you to the instance folder located under the my documents well documents now okay so <clears throat> most of this stuff is not needed okay so really all you need is the mods folder everything else can pretty much be deleted <clears throat> but in my pack the server files pack I went ahead and just included the accepted EULA just to streamline this process. Okay, so manifest.json, Minecraft instance.json, saves, resources, well, I'll just leave that one. And then, actually, no, you need the configs. Very important. Forgot the configs. Okay, so I'm just going to delete all of that. Okay, the next thing that you're going to want to do is run the forge installer okay I'm going to do this part off screen because I don't want certain things to be seen okay documents curse Okay, here we go. So you go go to documents, curse, Minecraft instances, and you're gonna search for the server that you want. Hit open. Oops, 
Okay. And um, uncheck the Mercurius um, if you don't know what it does. Um, okay. I'm going to hit OK. And now it should install everything into... Shit. Derp. I'm, 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 I'm an idiot. <laughs> I totally just had it freaking install into the wrong one. So, one second. I forgot about the two. I totally forgot about the two. So, curse. Minecraft. No. Minecraft. Instances. Server files two. Okay, notice the only three things in here is that. Open. Okay. Now hit OK. There we go. <laughs> okay, that should... As you can see, it's adding stuff. So this is just keeps reloading. Now we'll be back when this is done. Okay, now that it is done installing, <clears throat> the next step that we are going to want to do is notice how it has the unique forge number or name. What you're going to want to do is rename it, but first, um, I already prepared the batch file or bat file. Edit. Okay. I'm going to try to include this in my in my pack as an additional thing, but for some reason, curse is being weird with batch files. Okay, so depending on the size of the pack, obviously you're going to want a good bit of RAM. So right now I have the minimum set for 2 gigs, the max set for 3. And here is the path for the Java. I use Java W. It seems to be more stable. Um... I don't use the no GUI. And notice right here it says forge server dot jar. So what I'm going to do is copy that. Paste. Enter. Okay, that's done. So now, since I already have the EULA, I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to launch server dot bat. and now it's going to start creating the server files and that's pretty much it now if uh, if you don't already have the EULA file accepted then it'll uh, it'll start it up and then it'll shut it back off after it creates the EULA file you'll have to go into that and um, you'll have to change the word false to true. No big deal. So as you can see, it is creating the server files. Everything looks good. That's all there is to it. Like I said, as long as you make sure you don't have any client-specific mods in this list all you have to do is just get the forge installer install it into the instance directory set the bat file and you're done so oops I'm going to create a shortcut here close that go over here go over to the actual client pack so now all I gotta do is launch that wait for the server to boot up and then hit play and then connect bing bang boom done so I do hope this uh, video has proven useful in some way um, I do apologize for the issues that that arose but unfortunately things should happens you know <laughs> so thanks for watching see y'all later